so let's learn how to make an Elementor justified image carousel. Uh, this problem is quite commonly known in Elementor. It's not easy to make uh, uh, justified images. Uh, all, all images are all over the place usually. So we will make uh, we will learn how to make make it like like it here. So let's have a look first at what we usually have. And this is probably more familiar to everyone who has worked with this element. Uh, it's, it, it's kind of all over the place. You have small images. Uh, you have, uh, and then you always have one image that's, that's sticking out and that's messing up the whole thing. So this is the problem. So let's see how to fix it. It's actually quite simple when you've got the exact right CSS. So the first thing you will need to uh, do is uh, to uh, go in Element Talk and to create your gallery. After you created your gallery, then you will go to my article and you will simply get the code here. You will find the link in the description. And then uh, you will go, if you have Element Talk Pro, you will simply go uh, in your uh, image carousel. So this is the image carousel element. I'm saying gallery, uh, but really it, it's uh, the element uh, image carousel. So you will uh, then go under advanced and in custom CSS, you will simply paste the code. And as you see, it's, it's making it uh, work uh, right away. So that's great. And uh, you will get a few errors from the CSS processor in uh, uh, element talk here you can s safely ignore these it, it says unknown property it's just because the uh, the CSS validator that Elementor uses is quite uh, inaccurate so you, you can ignore this as you can see it's it's working fine uh, and so the only thing you will want is to set the height and this will become the height of the gallery so if we set this to 300 then every image, well, it will be the height of, of each image. And, uh, and, and also of the uh, whole uh, carousel. So we can already see. It, it works the same way as uh, background images set to cover work. Here you can see it's set to cover, but it's not the usual property that we are used to in a background. It's called object uh, fit. But it also has the uh, position, and this works the same like we are used to in the background. So let's say we want to align them to the left. So the first property is the x axis, and then this is the y axis. So, and then let's say we place this to the top. So you see only the gift move because this was the only one uh, that was uh, taller than it was uh, wide. And the default value for this is center center. And this is probably what you will end up using most of the time. So you can delete it entirely. And, and then it's, it's uh, equivalent to uh, center center. With the height property, you can also set it in. Let me zoom in a bit to see the code better. So with the height property, you can also set it in uh, other uh, like view view h so now it's it's becoming like full screen it doesn't particularly look great maybe it would look better if we had only one image in this case so let's quickly uh, tr try this so now this look good and the advantage is again that now every image will just fill fill the area uh, of course like in the case here with a low resolution image it doesn't look great but if you choose your image card fully uh, it, it works it works great so let's go back to the default of three images and uh, 
and let's set this back to something like 600. And then the only other thing that you might wish to know is if you have element of free, it still works. All you have to do is uh, give it a class name. Uh, here I named it carousel justified. And then you can use a sign code, but replace the word selector with a dot and then the class name. And then it, it still works. And the code, you can add it uh, in many places. Uh, I have an article about where to add CSS for Elementor 3, so I will also link this uh, down in the description. So I hope this was uh, helpful, and let me know if you enjoyed, and, and please subscribe. It, it really uh, helps out. All right, thanks.